friends just showed that they could blow the block too. I love this. I like when you see a spark and they're like, Mrs. Mills, come look how I did this or come see how I did this. And then when I have everybody watch one kid, they all want to try it versus me telling them, this is how you have to do it. And pull it? No. Is that a pull or is that a push? So last year I would have said, this is how you do it. Instead, I give them the materials and say, this is what your goal is. Your goal is to move from one end to the other. How are you going to do it? So I'm not telling them what they need to do. They need to figure it out on their own. Two, three, two, four, three, five, two, six. Man, I wonder if that was the most efficient way to get it across. They love science. They, they know that science comes at the very end of the day, that it helps them get through the whole day because they're like, man, something's gonna happen really cool today. And I wonder what it's going to be. So I like to leave them thinking about what's going to happen next. And um, I ask them to think about what they're going to do tomorrow so that they're going home tonight thinking about it. They have all day tomorrow to think, oh man, I can't wait till we get to science. And then they're going to get to share what they thought about. To make like a trap and make it like um, and put them on and test them over. I volunteered to be a part of writing the curriculum because I love science so much and that was when I was a kid I got to really explore and bloom so that's what I want to make happen with my kids too. I want them to love coming to school to get to do not just math and reading but science and social studies and love everything that they do.